Hey everyone, this video is important information for anyone who is thinking about ordering the new Logitech UE900S in-ear earphone released in 2014. This video was posted on the 26th of May 2014. Any updates about this story will be posted in the description of this video. All the material referenced in this video is also linked in the description. So back in August 2013, I reviewed the original Logitech UE900. I liked the sound, but I was troubled by quality control and design issues reported on the forum headfi.org, as well as a number of negative Amazon reviews. These issues included detachable cable connectors that could oxidize and cause the sound to cut out, and weak earpiece construction that could lead to the earphones falling apart. Judging from Amazon reviews, Logitech has provided replacements in many cases where issues arose. Recently, several Japanese outlets, including the Japanese audio store eEphone, released several videos and pictures detailing a new 2014 revision of the UE900 called the UE900S. Besides changes in accessories and packaging, the earpieces themselves feature several changes, including gold-plated connectors and improved earpiece assembly using ultrasonic welding technology instead of glue and a redesigned nozzle. These changes are seemingly in response to design issues with the original UE900. The UE900S can easily be identified because the connector stem is now part of the blue plastic shell and not a separate piece of black plastic. Logitech USA has listed the UE900S on their website. The images on the website depict the new UE900S e-pieces shown in Japanese media. They can be identified by the one-piece blue connector. However, there are now several users in the HeadFi UE900 thread who have reported ordering the new UE900S and receiving a unit which has the new UE900S packaging and accessories, but the old design. Users have also reported that when they contacted Logitech customer service about this, they have been told that there are no differences between the old UE900 and the UE900S besides packaging and accessories. From this information, it is unclear if Logitech is selling some UE900S units with parts from the old UE900, or if Logitech is selling different versions of the UE900S in different markets. I reached out to Logitech for a response on this story on the 8th of May, but at the time I am making this video, I have not received any new information or clarification about this discrepancy. I am making this video to advise people who might be thinking of ordering the UE900S to wait until there is some official clarification as to what exactly is being sold to customers. You can help make sure that people who might be interested in ordering the UE900S see this video by clicking the like button and sharing the video. I will update the description of this video as new information arises. Thanks.